Amber Toriaga, 28 years old, Laguna Beach, California. This is my story. The first time ever getting a wave is kind of like an unreal moment. You're addicted immediately. How do I do that again and again and again and again? And so you're just chasing it over and over and over again, and it really just keeps you going. I grew up in a small town in Melbourne, Florida, doing every sport that I could, getting on any board that I could. I was always the person that said, if you can't do that, I'd still try it anyway. To me, I was just taking skateboarding to the beach. But then when I realized that you can almost surf on these things, that's when I started to really try and combining my skills and now it was true skateboarding. When I first decided that I wanted to move to California, people told me I was making a mistake. I mean, I was leaving my full-time job, leaving everything that I knew in Florida. It was kind of hard to take because, you know, these are people that I know that are close to me, these are family, these are friends. Losing everything is almost the best way to recreate yourself. You telling me I can't do something just gives me even more focus to keep trying. I had to get out there and really find a way to make it work, and that was the only way, because there was no failure for me. When I first arrived in Laguna, it was almost intimidating because there's so many people out there that are so good at skimboarding. I would challenge myself going for every big wave that I could. Skimboarding is a male-dominated sport, but it almost gives me more drive. It's great to show women that there really is no difference as far as the feeling that you get out of the sport. She just wants to be the best, so you know you can really see it in the gym when she trains. She's in here really trying to get it down and perfect it, and she knows the harder she works out in here, it transfers over into her sport out there. And then just rep it. I am also a director, a creator, and an editor. You're kind of just reliving the stoke that you just had. You're capturing this awesome moment in this life that you enjoy. A lot of times I love to include wipeouts in my videos. Failure is the biggest thing to progression and growing. Right now I'm working on a funny skimboarding edit with me and my friend. There's a lot of bails. I love what's real and showing what's real is truly falling and most of the time you're falling before you succeed so you gotta show the realness. Showing falls and things like that is my way to kind of express like it's happening, we're, we're still trying and getting up every day. I'm out there producing and editing videos all the time alongside of skimboarding, so I would say that I'm 50-50 skimboarding and behind the computer. The biggest thing for me is finding that balance between work and your everyday life. I grew up without sunsets since I was on the East Coast. We always had sunrises, so I always try and get out there and watch the sunset. Finding that balance is super important. You know, that's the best way to kind of unwind from a long day. Do what you love the way that you want to do it. People will follow that. That was the one thing that I needed to focus on. As long as I was trying to be the best version of myself, that I was going to make it. <laughs>